Good evening, YouTube. She got J. Crew to you coming at you with another video here uh, uh, tonight, uh, March 10th, 2023. Uh, no, it's been a while since I did a video, but I said, let me get back in the, in the groove of things. I know it's the weekend, so I said, let me go my here and, you know, post some more content for y'all. Got a little update for you all to a video, or should I say to a story that I did maybe a little bit over a year ago, like in late 2021. And in the story, if you if you kind of follow my channel, uh, I commented on the incident that, that that kind of was brought to light the day I did the video. The incident consisted of former NFL running back, even at that time, Zach Stacy, who played for the Saint for the uh, what was it? Uh, I think it was back when they were in St. Louis, the St. Louis Rams, and the New York Jets. Uh, he had a domestic violence situation that came to light where I guess one of his baby's mothers, uh. Uh, who's the the lady to the right here in the photo with him named Christian Evans had a domestic incident that went viral. Uh, I mean, TMZ was on that. Uh, many national news stations covered it. it. There was a video that emerged when Zach Stacy was coming over, I guess, to confront Christian Evans, I guess, about some issue that he had with her. This dude, and I even said this in the video, if you follow my channel, he went WWE on her. And what I mean by that is he basically just beat her up. Uh, he came in there commenting, talking about she was ruining relationships. Uh, you know, uh, she was talking about he was destructive, even though we saw how destructive he was in the video. So that was an oxymoron that he stated, the, the uh, oxymoronic statement that he made. Uh, this dude basically just kind of just actually, he picked her up. He threw her into a TV. I think he punched her a couple of times when she was on the ground. Threw her on the couch. Called her the, the B word. And then slammed her right in front of the baby stroller where her baby was. It was just, he just went absolutely eight dong on this girl. I, he was, of course, arrested after I think he initially fled, you know, from, uh, from you know, from, from justice. He was eventually arrested. Uh, what brings me back to the story is that he was just sentenced to six months in jail, which to some people like myself, it may sound like a little light given, you know, what we saw on that, on that tape, but it's probably all they could do. Cause I think, you know, uh, you know, he, he probably, you know, finagled his way through the system and I'm going to read a little bit from what this story said and, and, and forgive me if you can't really read the content here very clearly. It says, former NFL running back Zach Stacy, 31, will spend a, a half a year behind bars for a pair of vicious attacks on his ex-girlfriend, one of which was caught on tape and quickly went viral. The footage showed the massive professional athlete throwing the victim on, around her home with brutal force in front of the then five-month-old son. On Monday, and which is this past Monday, I take it, a judge in Orange County, Florida, ordered states to serve six months in jail after he pleaded guilty to two counts of misdemeanor criminal mischief for the attacks on Christian Evans, both of which took place in 2021. Authorities confirmed to law and crime. In addition to his incarceration, Stacy was ordered to serve one year of probation following his police. Excuse me, my phone fell. Hopefully y'all can see it a little bit better. And also, you can sit here and just uh, look at the rest of the story. I'm going to try to post the story in the link of the video, uh, in the description of the video, rather. But as you can see, eventually, with this uh, this statement right here, as part of a plea deal, prosecutors agreed to drop the battery charge in exchange for Stacy pleading guilty. So, of course, he's going to take that because he could have did probably years on end for like aggravated assault or something like that. So, he did the thing that he probably should do, which is take a deal given how stupid his actions were. Either way, I think it's very appropriate that he spent some time in jail. Wish it could have been longer because uh, Zach Stacy, what he did was just, just very, very horrendous. We all get mad. We all get frustrated with the women that we deal with, but they don't deserve that. If you feel like you're to the point where you about to just go WWE on somebody like that, man, just walk away from that. Straight up. You, you got to walk away from that because that was just absolutely ridiculous, bro. That, that was ridiculous. Uh, either way, just want to come to you on my first video here uh, on March 10th, 2023. May do another one for the night uh, uh, over because I know I, I'm long overdue. I've been off of YouTube 
uh, at least for a month. And uh, so I said, let me go back and, you know, uh, bring y'all some more content. It's your boy J Crew to you. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.